What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today we're gonna take a trip down memory lane but we're gonna do so in a new product. This is the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Portable Game Player. Please explain for us, Lou. This is a portable unit that you hold in your hands, you travel with, and it carries with it 80 classic titles from the Sega universe. You know Sega. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means Mortal Kombat! But there's a lot of other games too. If you look on the back here, look at all those titles. I saw weird Streets of Rage. Are you kidding me right now? You remember Echo? The Dolphin? You could be a dolphin! As I understand it, looking at the package here, there's also an SD card slot. So, look, internet games download feature via SD card slot. It looks like you can install games after the fact as well. Five hours of battery life. Cut this baby open. Woo, look at this little guy. The fake screen protector that makes it look like it's on. A mini USB cable to charge it up. Oh, wow, you can play this on the TV? by using an AV cable. Where does AV go? Oh, there's an AV out. The control layout is similar to an actual Sega controller. On the top here, that's where we have the SD card slot that I mentioned, a volume control, mini USB for charging it up, and the AV out, and then if I flip it over on the bottom, that's the headphone jack and the on-off switch. Let's see if we have juice. We do! All right, we are booted up, and there's this menu that pops up, and check out these sound effects right now. Listen to this. I mean, they don't make sounds like that anymore. What am I gonna do first? Okay, let me try Echo. Get to be a dolphin. Okay. This guy is not messing around right now, holy. I mean, it's just a game with a dolphin and we're going deep on the soundtrack. Oh, with the speed and the quickness. Can I eat these fish right now? I got the dolphin communication. There's something about tactile controls. I know a lot of you kids are gonna be like, Lou, why are you so pumped about this dolphin right now? It looks like an iPhone game. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, listen to the soundtrack. Third of all, I got buttons to press. Like real, like... Buttons! I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm, I'm heading out, I'm gonna pick something else. <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, easy, Sonya Blade. She... Come on, I was way ahead! There you go. Ah, oh, with the low, with the low kick! Oh. She hit me with the... Why do I feel like I was better at that game? I'm gonna try Scorpion. There you go with the low. How are you gonna combat the low? This is how cheap I was. Ha! <laughs> All I threw was the low kick with the sweep. Oh, there's another round. Oh man. It's hard not to do Sonic, but can I do Streets of Rage? How emotional are you right now? Oh! Lou, I don't... I, I, I don't get it. What's the big deal here? I could just get some emulators on my phone. I could do this. I could do... That. Sure, you could. But this is kind of like a, a novelty. It's nostalgia. I mean, if you're gonna play these games, you might as well have tactile buttons the way that they were programmed to be played. And maybe you don't want some external controller. Maybe you don't want to waste the battery on your phone. This is a fun little way keeping the dream alive. Streets of Rage style. 